guys so this is the tutorial for today i use my juvis place palette i really hope you guys enjoy this um my lashes are from mirror mirror ja here in jamaica they were gifted to me and i'm spreading the news about these um 5d lashes now pomade by lyric we will be launching our 6d lashes these ones these lashes from mirror mirror ja definitely 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 inspired me wanting to get our very own lashes even from me, I don't know where them like nobody buy them. I don't know where them. Mm. Like I am like like these lashes, honey. Bobo. You're hot? Okay. A too windy. I get you. I get you. <laughs> but anyway, this is a look and it's a full start to look hair, makeup, start to finish. Okay. 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 Enjoy the video. Uh, can't stop, won't stop. Where the breaks at? I give him that ditty bop, like take that, take that, take that, take that. I'ma put in work, I'ma do that ASAP. Throw my faith in rap, but it say don't say that, huh? What I'ma turn down for? I feel like Shaq and not for breaking glass in that back boat. I like Kobe and Toronto, huh? Drop it. All right, guys. So I'm going to be using this hair product from Ascent here they have some new packaging coming out and i will be doing a review on this so stay tuned for that so this is what it looks like it is white it is uh like a repair repair type like the thing that's on the bottom like repair regrow, all that good stuff so now combing up my hair was so difficult because i slept on it like this for two nights i did not come out my hair i forgot that whenever i'm doing any kind of styling that i need to stretch my hair first before i start to style it so i'm going to grab my got to be and again go back into the struggle land of trying to get my hair to i mean it could have done so much it could have gone way better but i completely forgot that i have to stretch my hair before i begin to style it so i'm just going to put it up in one and believe me like this can go so much better but I just forgot to stretch it man so i cut out a lot of parts with me coming out the hair because it took me a while so yeah so i'm actually going to be adding a ponytail and honestly you guys i thought the ponytail would have matched my hair color perfectly <sighs> it did not <laughs> um somebody said i need to do, use purple shampoo to get it to that white to take out the brassiness or whatever but I'm just going to color it again to get the white so that I want to get. So I'm just going to put it up in one using an elastic band and then grab the hair. So as you can see, I actually cut an elastic band and I'm wrapping it around the center of the hair. And then I am going to just attach it to my um, hair right there. So I made like a little ponytail, attach it using the scrunchie, we call it scrunchie in Jamaica um using the scrunchie and then i'm just going to wrap the hair around now how wrap it around is really flimsy but i'm going to secure it with some hair pins look at that a complete mismatch or mix match but it looks cute though so i'm just going to go around this is how i'm going to style it twist it twist it twist it and then bring it around i feel like this part is self-explanatory so i'm just going to leave this part to play um so while this is playing as you're seeing what i'm doing it's a good time to remind you guys about my classes in um jamaica as well as in florida we are still having the 150 dollars off for the jamaica classes and 165 dollars off for the florida classes you can register right now on my website lyricrochester.com to access that discount if you miss that discount you miss it forever it is not coming back no way Jose so go ahead and grab the discount while you can it's still talking about like it doesn't match I mean I was just really annoyed but I mean ugh, it worked in like pictures but I was just really annoyed about how everything went so now for my eyes I'll be using all dolled up cosmetics as well as black opal to do my brows so this brow gel is from All Dolled Up Cosmetics and it's in the color Dark Brown. So I used an angled brush and I'm basically just going to dry it on. I like drawing it on thin first and then I just go on, um, I thicken it the way I want to. 
Now I will say this product does not move. So even when you see me do the concealer, the concealer is just going on top of it. It's not erasing it. You know, needs a pencil. It er the concealer erases. It this does not erase. It just goes. It just covers it. It conceals it. It does not erase it. My don't talk. It doesn't. So this is how I do my brows. Pretty self-explanatory again. So I'm wondering if I should speed this up or just make it play real time. I just say play real time. But yeah, so I start at the bottom first and then I go on top. And uh, there's not much to report here. It's uh, pretty self-explanatory, but I didn't want to jump the gun and speed it up. You know, because I do have some new subscribers. I'm sorry for welcoming you five minutes into the video but i do have some new subscribers so thank you so much for subscribing and for the all these book goodies thank you so much for still rocking with your girl i have some collabs coming up for you guys um so hopefully you'll enjoy them as much as i do as i um enjoy the collabs as much as i enjoy working with the people that i'll be doing the collab with um ooh, for my to to um to get my brows looking neat i'll be using this rich caramel and it's from black hole but it's actually a foundation and not a concealer so this is how i do my brows and i'm just going to go in and um just cut and get rid of areas to make my brows look really nice and sexy you guys have seen this a kajillion times on youtube and also on my channel so you know nothing new here again so um what was I saying? Oh, yes, to my new subscribers, thank you so much, you guys, for the support. Um, I really want to see if for the month of October, if I can do a video every day for you guys. Which, ah, which would be cool because it would be like Halloween, so I can get some really cool looks for you guys out. But in order for me to do that, again, I have to start record from um, mid-September to have enough content, you know record and edit and everything i edit all my own videos i um record all my own videos i don't have like a production company i no longer use my ring light i use natural light um to do my videos now so yeah that's one thing i want to tell you guys what else we'll have some new lashes coming out um some new 6d lashes and i'll be making a video specifically on that just want to hit you guys hint you guys as to where we're at oh if you're not following me on instagram please go ahead and follow me on instagram please do because i post a lot over there you can follow lyric crutches international because i've given my other pages a break and i'm focusing on like all my posts are going on lyric crutches international to help promote the page itself and also promote the classes you know so people can be aware so i go live on there a lot um uh, my insta story on there a lot lyric crutches international and i post like my face of the days and my look of the days on there a lot as well now as for this slit in my eyebrow i actually saw b simone with it first love um the real b simone you know do you want to be my boyfriend yeah and i'm um, super sent so i saw both of them with it and i was like you know what i like it it's cute i'ma do it too <laughs> so on to foundation and i'll be using my juvia's place foundations concealers and my coda beauty powders as well as i don't remember what else i wrote <laughs> but this is all using for my foundation this is togo um Juvia's place and this has a tendency to look ashy on me i really love how um yeah, that's 210 i don't know what's the name of 205 but i love how 205 looks on me 205 is at my house this is i'm recording this at my grandmother's house so um yeah and can you see i mean people saying that my skin has cleared up i mean it still looks quite wonky to me but i mean i can see what they're saying the, the foundation application is really smooth as all well. Like when I apply foundation, it's a hella, my skin is hella smooth. But yeah, so my face is a different color from my body, okay? So I always match, I'm sorry, a different color from my neck. So I always match my face to my body. So my face to body matching to me, it looks really good. It looks hella on point. I'm madly in love with these Juvia's Place foundations. Madly in love. 
it's definitely needed in your makeup artist kit on your vanity shoot you should be getting these for christmas for whatever else holiday we have coming up you know what i'm saying like black friday halloween girl just give somebody a gift of juvia's face it's really nice um i love the foundation and i love the consistency and the wearability of the concealers as well look at that I have foundation and my chest that's crazy i'm like how on earth did that get there but yeah so just applying my foundation using a flat top um brush and yeah there's again there's not much to report i'm just applying foundation so to highlight i'll be using the same rich caramel foundation to highlight as well as i'll be did i i can't remember if i did i think i did but i don't remember but we will see but um yeah so this is the foundation rich caramel oh my nails are done by cassie nailed it on instagram she's on instagram and um she's you have to it's there she deals with walking she don't do appointments so you just have to get there early and wait your turn that's what i have to do every single time i go there i don't like to go there and be like hey cassie can you do me no you know i'll go there and i will wait i don't like to yeah, do that i'll go there and i'll wait but yeah so now i'm using my concealer again from juvia's place this is number one and this is the darkest concealer that they have um i don't want to use this anymore i want to go and get a lighter one still darker than me you know but lighter because i feel like this tends to look a little bit too ashy on me so now i'm just going to blend it out um i blend out the concealer first i mean the low light first to give the concealer some time to kind of sit into my skin and that's sitting into the skin idea i got from jackie aina and i really like how you know it, it leaves my skin looking but you see how i took the concealer from my cheek to my like all over face because i don't need a lot of this concealer at all so because this is a no step skip tutorial like i can't even like i mean i'm doing one side at a time but i can't even like move on you know so i have to just be here talking to y'all okay good so now i'm just going to blend out the concealer using my bitty blender sometimes i mix this foundation which i'm using to highlight with the concealer the juvia space concealer sometimes but this time i chose not to because i know my eyes are about to be lit i mean i was like you know what let me not go overboard with contouring just you know do the bare minimal in terms of contouring lol and um, minimal and um just focus on the eyes so i'm blending everything out using my beauty blender i could very well use a brush if you had used a brush if you're doing this and you use a brush then your look is going to be a bit more pronounced what the beauty blender is doing is kind of removing some of the products while blending it out because it is a sponge you know so it's essentially soaking up product yeah um but i didn't mind that as i said so I'm just blending out and I like blending out to the side of my nose that's a trick I learned from um well something I'm kind of I kind of tweaked a little bit with um Kendall because when Kendall had done my face um from Mirror J A when she had done my face she had highlighted like across my eyes kind of like a maskish you know like across my eyes across my nose and everything but I like to keep it separated so what I do I go to the side of my nose and then I low light down um the same side of my nose i don't know but yeah i don't know so i hope i hope you guys understand what i mean but you see how like the colors coming together but you see how um like ashy the low light looks that's completely fine i mean it's low light so the ashy looks the better to me anyway i got my fire one like a foundation i should never want to touch a bland ear and all in bland ear we chose so i never want to touch a bland ear no way yeah. I can't even move on because it's a no step skip. What am I? Ah, here is it now. Just going down the side of my nose with whatever is left on the brush. And I like going in the socket of my eyes too for um, whenever I'm low lighting. Yeah. So now I'm going to be using my Huda Beauty Blondie Powder. And I'm going to be putting it on all my highlighted areas. And then I'm going to be using Sasha Cosmetics Perfect Spice Powder as my all-over powder to set everything else. 
Now what I do recognize with this powder is that whenever I use it with my beauty blender, my damp beauty blender, it looks ashy and like it's pulling grey. I don't know why. So I now use a brush to apply this powder and I feel like it looks way better when I use a brush to apply um, the Huda Beauty Blonde. I don't know why it pulls like that. But I was watching a video and I saw that um, like on Instagram and a girl actually used the Huda Beauty powder but used a different color. And it was kind of more like like a lighter orange, you know, darker than the color that I'm using. But it can I can still use it to do my highlight. So I'm just see if I can find what powder it is and get that one because I told that one looked on her. Because if it, if you look at this, this powder tends to look is it look kind of ashy on me? I don't know if it, it looks gray, not ashy. It looks gray, but yeah. So I'm using the same powder and I'm putting it on my brow bone. Um, as well as above, I'm so I'm setting everywhere, everywhere except my my little chop eyebrow chop, but I'm sitting everywhere that I have that that I have lighter colors like the concealer. I'm setting it as so I'm setting on my brow bone and also a bro above, sorry, my brow bone. So for my eyes, I am going to be using my Juvia's Place palette, and this is the Festival palette. Sorry, everything from here is self-explanatory, you guys. So. But I'm gonna use it find some music and play or no 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 let me talk to you guys sometimes when I play the music I don't feel it feels very um, standoffish I don't feel like when I'm rewatching the video it doesn't feel personal so now I'm going in with my Saharan palette like everything is self-explanatory from this point forward you know but I do have hooded eyes let me say that so I do my makeup to suit my eye shape so I always go above my crease because when I open my eyes, you can't see my crease. So I always go above my crease. So now it's, I'm applying it I'm like close to the bridge of my nose. But look, notice how I'm leaving the brow bone area free of any orange eyeshadow. I like doing that. And then I bring the color all the way like to the top of the beginning of the brow. Like from lip to brow and then leave it um, open on the brow bone area. I love doing that. Um, right, so it's a whole like two different colors on my face. That's crazy. So now I'm taking my LA Pro Primer in black, and I'm just using this to kind of set. Um, um, I'm using it as a base, sorry, to make these colors pop, honey. Because I really wanted to use a burgundy because I was wearing a burgundy dress. And I was like, do I want to go full burgundy? But it completely worked, especially with this orange. I love putting orange on my skin. I just think it looks absolutely flawless. So I'm blending on the edges first. And then I'm going to go ahead and just kind of um, work through on my lid. But the reason why I like blending on the edges first and not go from lid to edge, um, rather rather going for, going from, go from edge to lid, is because when I'm blending out, blending out on the edges, I have less product. Suppose I did start on my lid first. I would have way too much product to go out on my on the on the edge where the colors are meeting to blend out. I don't know if that makes sense, but yeah, yeah. So I'm just blending out on the edge first. And so now I'm going in with the Saharan Two by Juvia's, and I'm going to be grabbing that burgundy color. It is Zavoin, honey. What's it called? I don't know what's it called, but Saharan Two burgundy color. And it's divine and I'm just going to be applying this with a flat top brush and this is basically the, the eye look well the eye the lid look because I can make some other fandangles for the eyes so now I'm taking a clean brush and I'm just going to blend the edges so that it's nice and blended nice and smooth and, and it, like it flows into the other look how beautiful that is it flows into the orange and I did not go back into the orange and add any other color you know so that it will blend I didn't I just blend it I just like smoked it out basically see oh my god I'm in love so now I'm using the same um, LA Pro Conceal LA Pro Primer sorry in black and I'm lining my eyes and you see the same brush I used to apply the burgundy on my lid that's the same brush I'm going in oh no I'm blending it blending out the black first then I'm going to go in and blend out the black with the same with the same brush. I used to blend out the same black on my lid. Yeah. So now I'm going to go in with the same brush I used for my lid as well for the um, eyeshadow color. And then I'm going to blend that out on my lower lash line and smoke it out 
and make it all nice and burgundy and stuff oh yeah and then for the um i'm going to be adding two colors um which you guys saw but before i add that i'm actually going to be adding my la pro primer in uh nude and that's going to be my base and that base is going to help the colors to pop some more because you have the black i'm gonna kind of want oh no jelly all right so back in with my saharan two palette and i'm going to be using the two colors i told you about so i'm going to begin with this um and i did wet my brush first i mean you can spray it down or whatever with fix plus or whatever but you know i'm just gonna use my good old saliva <laughs> or whatever um yes yeah, sorry i'm gonna that darker blue first then i'm going to go with a lighter blue and it's add you know like a little bit of iridescence not much but i like the um I, I, like, I like the look you know that it gave it so yeah this is basically what i did for my eyes so my saharan blush volume one this orange just lit up my face i am such a huge i'm such a huge fan i cannot tell it i'm not a socialist but i just look at that it just brought so much life back into my face and for my highlight i'll, I'll be using the crop the first highlight in the palette there are two of them so i'll be using the middle one which is the first one and this is the look my lashes are from mirror mirror j a and i can't remember the name of them but they're basically their um 5d lashes hey papa they're basically their 5d lashes and i'm massively in love with them and yeah this is it for the voiceover portion of this video thank you so much you guys for watching do not forget to subscribe check out my website lyricrochester.com register for the classes get that 150 dollars off and get that 165 dollars off if you're in florida and yeah so don't forget new york and and Mobe, we're coming for you so we have not forgotten you but yeah that's it is for the video and thank you so much you guys for watching love you guys bye all right guys so for my lips i'm actually wearing full spectrum covergirl gloss idol and it's in the color ghost spectral so i wanted something really glossy and nude was the closest one i have to being glossy or nude i mean the color is nice but you know i love me a lot as gloss honey so but this is a like this is like you know what I'm like it do the job it did the job honey but this is the look the entire look and i'm so excited these lashes bye 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 i love this look i love everything about this look all juvia's yo yo but anyway thank you guys for watching and i'll talk to you in the next video thanks for the support you guys really 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 thank you <laughs>